Hi, Modern Miss Hustables! Really quick, super, super quick video for people that are like, why does this woman never post about her hair? <laughs> we need hair updates. We need hair care updates. So we are like three days out, I think, from the presidential election, two, three days. And so I thought, let's have a self-care, an affordable self-care solution for um, hair treatments while maybe we're all sitting watching the election results or having... Um, a day where we need to engage in self-care. So I'm just going to share with you all um, two new things that I've been using and integrating into my hair routine that I really, really like. So the first is um, good old organic coconut milk. So this is from Trader Joe's. This is their, um, just their store brand coconut milk organic. I think it's maybe $1.99 or so a can, but you can really use any type of coconut milk. So what I do is I pop the top and I put it inside of a uh, plastic bowl. So I'll set this bowl inside of typically my kitchen sink. I fill it with the coconut milk or I pour the coconut milk over my hair while it's in the bowl. And that helps to collect it in a um, container rather than having coconut milk all kind of go or seep down your kitchen drain, which can cause... My hair causes cloggage all throughout this house, but I try to keep it contained. So um, I often refer to it when I've put on Instagram, like, oh, I'm going to do a deep conditioner with coconut milk, or I'm going to use coconut milk as a conditioner. Um, I thought I should clarify because I really use it more as a pre-poo. So I use it before I shampoo rather than after as a conditioner. So I wanted to clarify that. So I put this on my hair before I shampoo and use conditioner. So that way it kind of gives it a uh, sort of like protein conditioning treatment prior to shampooing. I found that with using this, my hair looks a lot shinier. Um, it feels a lot healthier and softer and stronger. And it's just really quick and easy. There's a lot of recipes that I cook um, with coconut milk, one of which is like a Cambodian grilled corn recipe. So I put some coconut milk, some sugar, um, salt, uh, fish sauce. Um, what else do I put in it? Green onions. I think that's it. <laughs> and then you brush it over corn, um, corn on the cob, whole stalks of corn while you're grilling it. And so I often have a lot of coconut milk left over from that recipe. So I'll just go ahead and throw the rest into a bowl and then use it as a pre-poo for my hair. So I really like this. As my hair has gotten longer, I use a lot of product. And so this is a very affordable and also you can eat coconut milk. So it kills multiple birds with one stone. So I've really, really been liking and using this. And I can't remember, there's a old school kind of YouTuber uh, who's South Asian who uses this as well. So I, I've really been liking it. So I use it pretty much, um, probably I'd say at least once a month. And I leave it on, I've left it on sometimes for two hours. Um, there was a time in the summer where I put coconut milk on my head I put some plastic bags on my hair and then I went for a walk outside and almost had a heat stroke because it was, I live in Colorado so the sun is really, really intense and it was probably over 100 degrees and I had coconut milk and plastic bags on my head. So I don't recommend that, but you can um, sleep with it overnight, take a walk, <laughs> let the sun provide you with heat, but I've really been liking this. So um, try it out. Let me know in the comments if this works for you or what you think about it. And then the other product is this hair oil by the company Bread. And um, it's just everyday, it says everyday gloss for curl types 3A to 4C. Um, one thing I love about it is it looks just so lovely and feminine and almost like a really fancy kind of modern chic perfume bottle. And so I really, really like it. I believe it's a black owned company and um this is just really nice for a, a a treat on my night on my hair at night before i wrap it so i typically put a few drops of this and then i wrap it with my hair scarf and i've heard on instagram people giving rave reviews in terms of using this for twist outs as the oil um as you'll see in terms of the consistency it's not particularly thick or viscous like my castor oil is for example or um, kind of how coconut oil is when it coagulates, when it's um, more cold temperatures. And so I like it as just a nice light hair oil and an alternative to um, Moroccan oil brand Moroccan oil. So I've been using this and again, it just makes me feel special. Being in the house all the day, all the time, being on Zoom, on the camera all the time, just little ways to kind of integrate into my hair routine things that make me feel good. So this is bread brand 
um, hair oil. And then lastly, just another shout out to my oldie but goodie. I don't a lot of times have videos to make on hair for new things because I haven't done anything new. So uh, just another shout out to um, my Lush Henna. This is the only other thing that I do probably, probably now like every six months. But um, it's the Kaka Noir, which is the, yeah, my lighting's not going to work, but the black henna. So it's henna mixed with, um, it's henna mixed with indigo. So you always need to use gloves when you're applying it. So I have a pack of that. And then it comes in a block that has um, six squares. So I've used half of this. So this is half of a block. So what I do is um, I shred it. I have a video on this. I shred it down and then I add hot water and then apply it to my hair as a um, coloring treatment. So I have quite a few, you can't necessarily see, but gray hairs. And what it does is it turns the gray hairs a really pretty amber um, copper color. And then the rest of my hair black, right? Kind of really pretty jet black. And so even last time I washed my hair, I think I did a henna treatment and then I put on coconut milk and then I shampooed and conditioned. And it was really, it came out really, really nice. So my hair is, um, I've put beach waves in it, but it continues to, it's getting, you know, and staying pretty long, which is great. Um, so those are all my updates. Uh, comment below. Please let me know if you try the coconut milk, how it works for you, what you think. Um, again, I use it as a pre-poo slash deep conditioner, but I use it before I shampoo. So hopefully that helps for those that have asked me that question. Um, I'll see y'all next time. Take care. Love ya. Bye.